सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन दिस सेशन गाइज आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू सम मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर रेलिवेंट फॉर ऑल द गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स एंड स्पेशली फॉर द अपकमिंग आर वे ग्रेड बी एग्जाम और एच सो लेट्स बिगिन विद विदाउट एनी डिले बट बिफोर आई बिगिन लेट मी टेल यू दैट वी हैव लॉन्च अ क्रैश कोर्स फॉर द अपकमिंग आर वे ग्रेड बी एग्जाम एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनरोल इन दिस कोर्स You can download the Anujan the Lab from your Google Play Store, where you can get all the exam-related updates, daily GK and quizzes, monthly GK capsules, past year papers, etc., etc. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me here. Now let's talk about the question number one. And yes, if you want to have the PDF of this session, and in, so for that you can join the Telegram channel. The link for which is provided in the description. Question number one says, which of the following schemes have been selected for PM's award for excellence in public administration under the category Innovation General Central? All right, so which of the following schemes has got this award, which is PM's award for excellence in public administration? Very very important question. Remember, this scheme is Ode Desh Ka Aam Nagrik, which is Ministry of Civil Aviation, which is being implemented by Ministry of Civil Aviation. So remember the Udan scheme has been selected for PM's award for excellence in public administration and the category was already mentioned in the question uh, the category is innovation general and central the award consists of a trophy scroll and a cash and a cash incentive of rupees 10 lakh 10 lakh rupees diye jate hain isme and the award will be given on the national civil service day that is observed on 21st of april every year all right Now talking about the scheme, so remember it was launched in the year 2016 with an objective to fulfill the aspirations of the common man, so that they can also afford the flight. ठीक है वो भी flight से इधर उधर घूम सके. So to ati uh, to fulfill this aspiration of the common man, the scheme was launched in the year 2016. Until date, there are 415 Udan routes which connect 66 underserved or unserved airports of the country. and this includes heliports and water aerodromes as well and over 92 lakh people have already benefited from it so this data guys is important ye jo data hai this 415 udan routes connecting 66 underserved and unserved airports this is important so you have to remember this and under the scheme there uh, various greenfield airports have also been developed like for example pekyong airport in sikkim Tezu Airport of Arunachal Pradesh and Kurnool Airport of Andhra Pradesh, and the target is to set up hundred new airports across the country by the year two thousand and twenty-four, and thousand new routes under the Udan RCS scheme by the year two thousand and twenty-six. And of course, RCS stands for Regional Connectivity Scheme. All right, so basically, those are twenty-six till so new airports will be constructed, and by the year two thousand and twenty-six, thousand new routes will be identified under. RCS Udan all right so that's it about this news and now let's come back to the question therefore the correct answer will be what option E Udan because Udan has been selected for prime minister's award for excellence in public administration option E will be the correct answer to this question and if you remember ministry of civil aviation's tableau was the best adjusted tableau in the republic day parade 2022 along with ministry of education moving ahead to question number 2 Union cabinet has approved 808 million dollar for raising and accelerating MSME performance which is the ramp program and i hope you all know this that this was announced in the union budget this year's union budget budget 2022 23 mein isko announce kiya gaya tha question is how much amount of 808 million dollar will be funded by the world bank very very important question for the upcoming rbi gate b exam you can definitely expect a question this this question you can definitely expect in your exam So the news is that the Union Cabinet has approved 808 million dollars or 6026062.45 crores. You don't have to remember this amount in rupees. Just remember 808 million dollar, and this much amount has been approved for the implementation of ramp program, which is raising and accelerating MSME performance. Remember, it is a World Bank assistance assisted program, and it was announced in this year's budget 22-23. Out of this much amount, 808 million. Dollar five hundred million dollar will be funded by the World Bank, and the rest three zero eight million dollar will be borne by the central government. Five hundred million dollar World Bank will give, and three hundred million dollar will be given to the central government. All right. 
Now, what are the implementation strategies and the targets of this scheme? So remember, this program has identified two areas. Number one, strengthening the institutions and governance of the MSME program. जो MSME है उनको उनका जो institution है उनका जो governance है उसको strengthen करना. And then support to market access, firm capabilities, and access to finance. So these are the two areas <coughs> uh, which have been identified under this program under this scheme. Now there will be strategic investment plans that will be prepared and for which all the states and UTs will be sent invite. And the total of five five lakh fifty five thousand MSMEs uh, have been targeted to provide benefit under this particular scheme or you can say program. All right, so that's it about this news and guys. Now let's come back to the question. So how much amount will be funded by the World Bank? So it is five hundred million dollar. Option B. Five hundred million dollar will be the correct answer, and of course, World Bank is headquartered in Washington D.C. and is headed by Mr. David Malpas. David Malpas is the chief of World Bank. And now, moving ahead to question number three, again very very important question: Which state or U.T. has launched migration tracking system application to maintain the continuity of the integrated child development services? Which state or U.T. has launched migration tracking system application? to maintain the continuity of the integrated child development services very important question and very easy question and very direct question so remember this has been launched by maharashtra government so maharashtra government has developed a migration tracking system application now this tracking application will map the movement of seasonal migrate migrant workers through the unique id numbers so basically what will happen is that through this migration tracking system application the government of maharashtra will track the movement of uh, seasonal migrants theek hai aur this will be done through unique id numbers and why government is doing this so government is doing this to maintain the continuity of icds like nutrition supply immunization and health checkup etc to the mar, uh, migrant beneficiaries jo migrant beneficiaries hai unko icds ka pura benefit pahunchaya ja sake for this this migration tracking system application has been developed by the government of maharashtra All right. Now talking about ICDS. So remember, it is being implemented by the Ministry of Women and Child Development, Women and Child Development, uh, Women and, and Child Development since the year 1975. And uh, of course, this ministry is headed by Smriti Irani. Smriti Irani is ministry ko head karti hai and her Lok Sabha constituency is Amethi. Amethi is of course in UP. Now there are various services which are being provided to the beneficiaries under ICDS. like supplementary nutrition preschool education health and nutrition education immunization health checkups and other referral services and remember there are various schemes which are under this umbrella scheme of icds like for example we have anganwadi services scheme we have pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana we have national crutch scheme we have scheme for adolescent girls and also we have poshan abhiyan under this umbrella scheme of icds all right so therefore guys the correct answer will be what option a <coughs> maharashtra maharashtra will be the correct answer and maharashtra chief minister is uddhav thakre uddhav thakre is the chief minister and uh, bhagat singh koshyari bhagat singh koshyari is the governor bhagat singh koshyari is the governor option a will be the correct answer and let's move ahead to question number 4 now question number 4 and 5 are very direct question we don't have to go into the details of that So, in which city, Ministry of Ayush, which is headed by Sarbanan Sonowal, to organ uh, will organize Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit? It will be organized, uh, I think, on twentieth of April. Okay, Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit. Now, why will this uh, summit organized? Uh, why this summit will be organized? So, this will be organized to attract investment to build India as the global Ayush destination in the world. All right. and recently who uh, medical who uh, center i i am i'm forgetting the name of that center it was approved to be constructed in jamnagar of gujarat theek hai na to wo ayush se related hi ek who ka center i am forgetting the exact name of that so it is being constructed in jamnagar of gujarat all right and this global ayush investment and innovation summit will also be held in gandhi nagar of gujarat option d will be the correct answer to this question and if you remember in gandhi nagar def expo 2022 will also take place theek hai option d gandhi nagar is the correct answer and here also remember one thing this global ayush investment and innovation summit it will be inaugurated by the honorable prime minister of the country 
सो ऑप्शन डी गांधीनगर इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे इन विच सिटी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स हेडेड बाय हरदीप सिंह पुरी हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्मार्ट सिटी स्मार्ट अर्बनाइजेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस टू हाईलाइट सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन हंड्रेड स्मार्ट सिटीज अक्रॉस द कंट्री वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज इन सूरत सूरत विच इज अगेन इन गुजरात विच इज अगेन इन गुजरात एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर गुजरात वॉज रैंक नंबर वन इन द एक्सपोर्ट प्रिपेयरनेस इंडेक्स एक्सपोर्ट प्रिपेयरनेस इंडेक्स एंड गुजरात चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कोर्स इज भूपेंद्र पटेल भूपेंद्र पटेल इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गुजरात और राइट एंड रिमेंबर दिस दिस स्मार्ट सिटी स्मार्ट अर्बनाइजेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस इज फोकस्ड ऑन फाइव एरियाज नंबर वन इज रीमेजिनिंग पब्लिक स्पेसेस डिजिटल गवर्नेंस क्लाइमेट स्मार्ट सिटीज इनोवेशन एंड स्मार्ट फाइनेंस नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इट वॉज जस्ट फॉर द रेफरेंस कि ये ये चीजों के ऊपर फोकस किया जाएगा और राइट एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर इट इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज इन सूरत ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड गाइज दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन आई होप ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स you can ask me in the comment section and thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless